Okay, here we go with a really quick and dirty video of how my time-lapse photography setup works. Um, this is the Ender, S, uh, Ender 3 S1 3D printer. And over here I have a 3D printed part that uh, you pull out the screws and put them back in to hold this poking stick in place. This was actually designed for the original um, Ender 3. So I'm only holding it in with one screw because it doesn't quite fit, but it is functional. And then down here, I've got a piece that clips onto the rail here, and then another piece that's just designed to hold the camera remote and it's separate so it can slide in and out, and this can slide this way. So then we can use the G codes that between every layer, this comes all the way over and it pokes the button and goes back. So all I had to do was use the manual controls to figure out exactly how far over I needed this to come to. And then I could position this. And all I did was just used a spring clamp to hold it in place once I found the exact position. And then there's also enough flex right here that it will actually just bend a little bit and uh, makes good contact, presses the button, takes a photo, and when the button here gets pressed, uh, my camera takes a photo. That's it. And then put all those photos together to make a time lapse.